Hello everyone, welcome to Sisa This Much. This is Aditya, and today we'll be discussing the expected changes in the Sisa exam, which would be applicable from 1st of August 2024. So remember this date, 1st of August 2024. Okay. Now understand very carefully. Last year, last year in the month of August 2023. Last year, August 2023, Isaka came with a notification with regards to the change or update in their syllabus, which would be applicable from 2024 August, right? And you know, on 2nd of August, we have updated everyone, all of our LinkedIn connections, uh, and all of our students as well uh, over the LinkedIn and in our uh, YouTube community post but still after that it's it, it's been a long time you know since we have updated everyone including our students and you know all other CISA aspirants and uh, right now there's a lot of you know confusion happening and I keep on getting messages from people from uh, not only from our students but also from the CISA aspirants who wants to join the course who are who are planning to give, give this exam you know they have these confusions we also get comments on our YouTube videos about you know to make a to make a specific video on this particular topic okay so even though we have updated everyone last year itself in the month of August but again you know I would like to give you all the updates and not only that we'll be not only discussing the official notification official not notification will be definitely discussing but apart from that we'll be also discussing last six months planning uh, also you know this is a very common question will i be able to finish the exam within the last six months because it's just last six months right uh, next question whether to give the exam under old syllabus or should i wait for the new syllabus to come should i wait for the new syllabus to come or should i you know plan to give the exam right now uh, uh, question number four again a very popular question will everything change like you know should i stop studying let's say if i if, if, if i if i want to give the exam by this year end okay should i stop studying should i take a break because as far as what I know, everything is going is, is, is going to change and, you know, like there's no use of studying as of now. So these are some, you know, some questions which comes in the mind of lot, lots of CISA aspirants and, you know, people keeps on messaging us, especially the new inquiries and the new CISA aspirants. So before discussing all the questions, you know, let's first look at the official notification which uh, came last year in August. 2023 okay so this was uh, the update which we are which, which which we have already given last year on the linkedin i'm, I'm just reading this out uh, you know before looking at the other questions okay so you know the exam okay so normally okay they update the syllabus once in every five years but it's not a a thumb rule they may update before that as well but you know in th this case it is happening after five years because last update happened in the year 2019 so you know 2024 20, means it's a gap of five years you know and after five years they are planning to come with the change right okay so first of all you know so currently we are having five domains and in the new syllabus also we have five domains in fact if you'll see the names of the domains are also the same right so domain one domain two domain, domain three four and five okay so what change they have done in the weightage okay so they have slightly reduced domain one weightage they have slightly uh, you know uh, slightly increased domain two weightage uh, there is no change in domain three and it is still the lowest weightage you know am amongst all the five domains domain four they have increased slightly uh, 
and domain 5 they have reduced slightly okay so domain 5 uh, you know it, it is having the highest weightage and still now also it, there is a very slight reduction so we, we can still say domain 4 and 5 are very important because here domain 4 they have increased it you know with 3% increase right domain 3 you know it's the, it's still the lowest at 12% okay so you know last year we came with this small analysis uh saying that domain one and five both of these domains have seen a slight reduction weightage domain two and domain four these domains have seen an increase reflecting a shift in emphasis towards governance management operations and resilience because these are the uh, these two domains covers these uh, topics okay and domain 3 as i've already told you it's still the lowest weightage domain uh, at 12 percent okay the updated exam prep material will be available three months prior to the exam okay because as i've told you first of august 2024 the syllabus is going to come so three months prior to that which is from first may 2024 okay so the new books will be launched by isaka okay so this is the official notification okay now currently we are at uh, its 4th of february 2024 and the the new syllabus would be applicable from 1st of august 2024 so roughly we have six months of time okay so roughly we have six months of time okay uh will i be able to finish this exam within these six months you know so for answering this question i have already made a video on this in the past how many hours is needed to study for this exam so we need approx 300 to 500 hours for finishing CISA exam okay so if let's say for example if a person is studying 10 hours a day if a, if a person is studying 10 hours every day okay which is not possible which is not possible but let's say if if, if if a person who is not going to job and is having the entire day with him or her and if and if he or she is studying the entire day he can he or she can even finish his exam within a span of one to one and a half months right but you know normally for working professionals it takes four to six months for them to finish his exam and as i've told you 300 to 500 hours so let's say for example let's say from monday to friday that is weekdays you are studying two to three hours okay and you need to divide the, these two to three hours maybe like one and a half hours in the morning one and a half hours in the evening or maybe three hours in the morning or maybe three hours in the evening or let's say if not three hours at least two hours so like you know one hour in the morning one hour in the evening you may even you know try to utilize your traveling time you know we have lots of success stories wherein you know i ask these questions to people about their strategies you know what kind of difficulties they have faced you know how to manage the work and studies and you know so you can go and watch those videos as well to know the individual strategies and tips then there's common answer from everyone saying that they were consistent every day you cannot expect to clear you cannot expect to pass this exam by just studying on weekends if you if you say okay i'll be only studying on weekends saturday and sundays maybe i'll sit uh, i'll just you know watch the lecture or maybe i'll sit for a live lecture whatever it is you know but if you have this thing in your mind that you know you'll be only studying on weekends saturday and sundays and you know you don't have to sit and do your homework you don't have to sit and you know study you, you don't have to do self study and then you are you know in the wrong direction so understand one thing so one thing is very common you need to be consistent you need to put in two hours every day from monday to friday okay and regarding weekends saturday sundays and holidays i don't know if we have a lot of holidays coming up but anyways you know in case if you are if you get a chance maybe like if you get if you take a leave from your office whatever it is saturday and sundays okay you need to study six to eight hours 
now this is very much practical you know if someone tells me that you know that person is not you know getting two hours of time and six to eight of six to eight hours of time on weekends uh, definitely you need to work upon your priorities and you, know, you need to uh, you know do some time management because it is very much possible and you can do it okay so you just need to you know figure out how you can get the time but i am sure you know irrespective of the amount of work anyone can devote 2 hours on weekdays and 6 to 8 hours on weekends so let's say if someone is uh, devoting like uh, 2 hours on weekdays and maybe let's say 7 hours here okay so it means they are studying 14 hours on saturday and sundays or weekends and approximately 10 hours on weekdays which is 2 into 5 5 days so 10 hours so uh eventually they are studying how much 24 hours a week 24 hours a week and as i've told you you need 300 to 500 hours to finish this exam so so what i'm trying to, what i'm trying to say over here is like you know it is very much possible to pass this exam within a span of four to six months okay and in case if you are you know allotting more time you, you can you know finish it much early but this is a normal you know recommended time you know i don't want anyone to go uh you know in a in a what to say half a hour manner like you know uh trying to finish this exam within a span of 15 days or one month no please don't do that you know that that may or may not work okay so it's it doesn't make sense to take uh, you know these kind of risk okay but what i'm trying to tell you is you still have time because we have six months of time and you can still finish this exam you know under the old syllabus okay so coming to our questions so i have told you you know how you need to plan out right and you know in case you want detailed strategies you can go and watch you know the detailed success stories of individuals and they'll share you all the difficulties and tips and strategies and, and how they studied everything okay you, you may even connect with them on the linkedin right uh, next question whether to give the exam under old syllabus or should i go for the new syllabus okay new syllabus means i'll have i'll be having new topics new emerging topics you know the the trending topics of technology like artificial intelligence cloud security cloud audit data privacy all these hot topics i'll be getting to learn more so should i be waiting for the new syllabus to come or should i give the exam under old syllabus my advice to this question would be if you are planning the exam if you are if you if you have already started studying or you know in this particular month in the month of february if you are planning to give the exam i'll strongly advise you you start studying and you know think of giving the exam under old syllabus because you still have a lot of time you know six months it's a huge amount of time and you know you can easily finish this exam under old syllabus okay uh, see it's not that you know if you go under the new syllabus you'll not be able to pass okay but see learning will never end okay whether it's new syllabus or old syllabus let me tell you something in advance you know learning will never stop you know so even if you are certified holder let's say you you crack the exam under old syllabus uh, you still will have to keep on updating your knowledge and you still will have to keep on learning things so learning will never end irrespective of you choosing new or old syllabus right so my advice to people who are currently watching this lecture who are currently planning to give the exam under old like who are who are, who, are, who are currently studying or who are planning to start studying this month or maybe next month also you know try to give the exam under old syllabus it is very much possible okay next question will everything change should i stop studying okay let's say if my plans are to give the exam in the month of november or december or october whatever should i stop studying now because syllabus is going to change everything will change okay i will st stop studying no definitely no because majority of the things will still remain the same
see there will be new additions of topics you know as i've told you uh, you know like topics on artificial intelligence more of you know data privacy cloud security cloud audits again you know more more things so so there would be new additions of topics but that doesn't mean that the that the current syllabus will you know disappear altogether no in fact you know see no one knows uh, what kind of uh, changes they will bring because that will be disclosed in the month of may 2024 but you know i am expecting around 25 to 30% change maximum okay uh, it can go up or down but that's the, that's the percentage which i am expecting right so 70 75% will still remain the same see they may remove some topics which were outdated so outdated topics they will remove okay new topics they will add okay uh, but you know try to understand for example you know we have the video on domain 2 domain 2 topics cannot change it governance concept will not change corporate governance it steering committee you know these topics doesn't change you know there cannot be amendment there can be discussion on new technologies but you know the the audit principles like domain 1 it cannot change so my advice would be you know to keep studying you know if you have started studying you know uh, keep studying even if you want to give the exam under, under new syllabus still you keep on you know uh, uh, be regular with your studies be consistent because once the new syllabus will come things will be very easy for you because you have already started studying for the exam okay and, and as i've told you don't expect everything will change 100% will change no that will that will not happen right so about our uh, lectures you know this is for our students you know so uh, uh, you know will uh, what will happen in the month of may so you know when the new books will come and new, new materials will come we will let you know about all the updates all the amendments all the changes everything right and uh, you know it will take us uh, you know some time for recording the lectures and you know uh, updating our current materials okay and as i've told you what the whatever new topics new things will will be there will have a videos for for those topics right so we'll be integrating the new additions in our uh, videos and uh, we'll make our lectures up up to date and updated right so don't worry about uh, the uh, new changes and keep studying because as i've told you uh, you know if you start studying now you never know right so even if you take uh, like even if it takes you like 8 or 9 months or maybe more than that for passing this exam but still you know uh, don't think that you know let me take a break let me just relax and just chill out and you know i'll be studying my studies from 1st of may when the new books will come definitely do not wait for that okay so keep studying and uh, for people who have already started studying or are planning to uh, you know study from the month of february or march uh, you know uh, you you can you know pass this exam under old syllabus so this is a very golden opportunity for you to crack the exam under old syllabus so do uh, take the uh, best of this opportunity and wish you all the very best thank you